ਵਿਦਿਆਰਥੀਓ ਅਸੀਂ ਐਟਮ ਦੀ ਵੇਵ ਮੈਕੈਨੀਕਲ ਥਿਉਰੀ ਬਾਰੇ ਪੜ੍ਹ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਹਾਂ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨਸ ਦੀ ਵੇਵ ਨੇਚਰ ਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਥਿਉਰੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਇੱਕ ਨਵਾਂ ਕਨਸੈਪਟ ਹੋਣ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਇਆ which is known as charge cloud concept ਆਓ ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਸਮਝਣ ਦੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰੀਏ ਕੀ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਦੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਦਿੱਤੇ ਹੋਏ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨ ਲਈ ਵੇਵ ਇਕੁਏਸ਼ਨ ਨੂੰ ਹੱਲ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਇਟ ਗਿਵਸ ਅ 3 ਡਾਇਮੈਂਸ਼ਨਲ ਅਰੇਂਜਮੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਪੁਆਇੰਟਸ ਵੇ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨਸ ਕੈਨ ਐਗਜ਼ਿਸਟ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਰੀਜਨਸ ਵੇਅਰ ਦ ਚਾਂਸਸ ਆਫ ਫਾਈਂਡਿੰਗ ਦ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨ ਆਰ ਰਿਲੇਟਿਵਲੀ ਗ੍ਰੇਟਰ ਸਚ ਰੀਜਨਸ ਆਰ ਐਕਸਪ੍ਰੈਸ ਇਨ ਟਰਮਸ ਆਫ ਕਲਾਊਡ ਆਫ ਨੈਗੇਟਿਵ ਚਾਰਜ ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਚਾਰਜ ਕਲਾਊਡ ਕਨਸੈਪਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਵਿਸਤਾਰ ਪੂਰਵਕ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਦਿਸ ਕਨਸੈਪਟ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨਸ ਨਾਟ ਅ ਸਪੈਸੀਫਿਕ ਲੋਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਦ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨਸ ਇਨ ਸਪੇਸ ਬਟ ਫੋਕਸਸ ਔਨ ਨੈਗੇਟਿਵ ਚਾਰਜ ਡੈਂਸਿਟੀ ਰੀਜਨਸ ਦ ਚਾਰਜ ਕਲਾਊਡ ਕਨਸੈਪਟ ਸਿੰਪਲੀ ਡਿਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬਸ ਦ ਹਾਈ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਬਿਲਿਟੀ ਰੀਜਨ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਪਾਰਟ ਕੁਆਂਟਮ ਨੰਬਰਸ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰਨ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਪਾਠ ਤੇ ਸਿੱਖਿਆ ਉਦੇਸ਼ਾਂ ਤੇ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਕਰ ਲਈਏ on completion of this topic learners will be able to define quantum numbers describe types of quantum numbers write importance of quantum numbers solve numerical problems vidyarthiyo jive ki asi jante ha ki atom de kendra vich nucleus hunda hai jad ki electron is de aale duale vak vak circles vich ghumde ni but what are the regions of occurrence of electrons thus picture of an orbital comes into existence vidyarthiyo ki tusi orbital nu paribhashit kar sakde ho aao is nu paribhashit karan di koshish kariye orbitals represent those regions around the nucleus where the probability of finding the electron is maximum the three dimensional region within which there is higher probability that an electron having certain energy will be found is known as an orbital vidyarthiyo asi keh sakte ha ki orbital is the most probable space in which the electron spends most of its time while in constant motion in other words it is the spatial description of the motion of an electron corresponding to a particular energy level vidyarthiyo tusi kadi eh janan di koshish kiti hai ki ek atom de vich kinne prakar de orbital sambhav han a large number of atomic orbital are possible in an atom assi inna nu kive vak vak kar sakde ha these can be distinguished on the basis of their size shape and their orientations to describe each electron in an atom in different orbital a set of four quantum numbers are required these are known as principal quantum number azimuthal quantum number magnetic quantum number and spin quantum number quantum number may be defined as a set of four numbers with the help of which we can get complete information about all the electrons in an atom that is location energy the type of energy occupied shape and orientation of that orbital etc a quantum number ek aam aadmi de ghar de pate naal mail khande ni ek khas vyakti bare janan de layi sanu us da na us de desh gali mohalle ate ghar de number bare pata hona zaruri hai these quantum numbers are required to specify the position and energy of the electron in an atom sanu inna vich sare char quantum number bare pata hona chahida hai eh sare quantum numbers ikatthe milke atom de vich electron de pure pate nu dasde han principal quantum number 1 is shown by letter k having maximum number of 2 electrons in it principal quantum number 2 is shown by letter l having maximum number of 8 electrons in it principal quantum number 3 is shown by letter m having maximum number of 18 electrons in it principal quantum number 4 is shown by letter n having maximum number of 32 electrons in it 
as discussed above, that principal quantum number denotes the principal shell to which electron belongs. Number of electrons in various subshells K, L, M and N is shown here. Maximum number of electrons in K, L, M and N shells can be determined by using formula 2N square. Putting N is equal to 1, so 2N square is equal to 2 multiplied by 1 whole square, which is equal to 2 multiplied by 1, which is equal to 2 electrons. Putting N is equal to 2, so 2N square is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 whole square, which is equal to 2 multiplied by 4, which is equal to 8 electrons. Putting N is equal to 3. So 2n square is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 whole square which is equal to 2 multiplied by 9 which is equal to 18 electrons. Putting n is equal to 4. So 2n square is equal to 2 multiplied by 4 whole square which is equal to 2 multiplied by 16 which is equal to 32 electrons. Principal quantum number n Principal quantum number denotes the principal shell to which the electron belongs. In other words, we can say that this quantum number determines the main energy level or shell in which an electron is present. This is also known as a major energy level. It represents the average size of the electron cloud. In other words, we can say that it shows the average distance of the electron from the nucleus. This is the main factor that determines the value of nucleus, electron attraction or the energy of the electron. In our earlier discussion, we have found that the energy of the electron and its distance from the nucleus for hydrogen atom are given by En is equal to minus 313.3 upon n square kilocalories and Rn is equal to 0 0.5 to 9 n square angstrom where n is the principal quantum number of the shell. As the value of n increases, the electron gets farther away from the nucleus and its energy increases. Higher the value of n, higher is the electronic energy of the shell. Thus, principal quantum number gives the average distance of an electron from the nucleus and specifies the energy of that electron. Now come to the values of principal quantum number. It is usually denoted by n. The principal quantum number n have positive integral values n is equal to 1, 2, 3 to infinity. But it is important to remember here that it is never zero. If n is equal to 1, the energy level is closest to the nucleus and as the value of n increases, the distance of the energy level from the nucleus increases. Distance of k, l, m and n energy levels from the nucleus is shown here in increasing order. In principal quantum number, the letters k, l, m and n etc are also used to locate the energy levels or shells of electrons with a n value of 1, 2, 3 and 4 respectively. Azimuthal quantum number L. This quantum number denotes the sublevel or subshell in a given principal energy shell to which an electron belongs. Azimuthal quantum number is also known as secondary or subsidiary quantum number. It is denoted by L and corresponding to each value of N, there are N possible values of L, ranging from 0 to 1, less than N for that state. It defines the spatial distribution of the electron cloud about the nucleus. This quantum number gives the energy of an electron due to the angular momentum of the electron. The relation between angular momentum of the electron and L is angular momentum is equal to under root value of L multiplied by L plus 1 multiplied by H upon 2 pi. Simply, the quantum number L 
defines the shape of the orbital occupied by the electron. For any given value of the principal quantum number n, the azimuthal quantum number L may have all integral values from 0 to n minus 1, each of which refers to an energy sublevel or subshell. The total numbers of such possible sublevels are numerically equal to the principal quantum number of the level under consideration. These sublevels are also symbolized by letters S, P, D, and F, etc. Let's take an example to clear the concept. For principal quantum number, n is equal to 1, the only possible value for L is 0. That is, there is only one possible S, subshell n is equal to 1, L is equal to 0. Thus, for n is equal to 1, value of L is equal to 0. This means that first principal energy level consists of only one sublevel termed as S or specifically 1S, where the number before the level represents principal energy level. For n is equal to 2, there are two possible value of L is equal to 0 and L is equal to 2 minus 1, which is equal to 1. This means that there are two subshells in the second energy shell with n is equal to 2. These subshells are designated as 2s and 2p. Similarly, for n is equal to 2, values of L will be 0 and 1. This means second principal energy level consists of two sublevels 2s and 2p. Similarly, when n is equal to 3, L can have three values that is 0, 1 and 2. Thus, there are three subshells in third energy shell with designations 3s, 3p and 3d respectively. For n is equal to 3, values of L will be 0, 1 and 2. This means third principal energy level consists of three sublevels 3s, 3p and 3d. For n is equal to 4, there are four possible values of azimuthal quantum number L, which is equal to 0, 1, 2 and 3, each representing a different sublevel. In other words, the fourth energy level consists of four subshells which are designated as 4s, 4p, 4d and 4f. For n is equal to 4, values of L will be 0, 1, 2 and 3. For a given value of principal quantum number, the order of increasing energy for different subshells is, that is, S subshell has minimum energy whereas F will have maximum energy and is far away from the nucleus as compared to S, P and D subshells of same energy level. The various sublevels or subshells are also designated by letters S, P, D, and F. Depending upon the values of L as shown in the animated chart, value of L for sublevel S is 0. Value of L for sublevel p is 1 value of l for sublevel d is 2 value of l for sublevel f is 3 as sanket spectroscopic terms to peda hue han s refers to sharp p refers to principal d refers to diffuse and F refers to fundamental. From this, it may be concluded that the number of sublevels in a principal energy level is equal to the value of n. Thus, there is only one sublevel in first energy level for which n is equal to 1, 2 in second for which n is equal to 2, 3 in third energy level for which n is equal to 3 and so on. Thus, angular quantum number determines the sublevel in a given principal energy level. 
In a given energy level, the order of energy of different sublevels is except for hydrogen S is lesser than B, which is lesser than D, which is lesser than F. Students, it is time to check your knowledge. Let's try to solve a question. There are five values of N. Try to calculate value of L for all these. N is equal to 1, N is equal to 2, N is equal to 3, N is equal to 4 and N is equal to 5. When N is equal to 1, value of N is equal to 1, it shows that there will be one value of L. Value of L is equal to 0 to N minus 1, so value of L is equal to 0. When N is equal to 2, value of N is equal to 2, it shows that there will be two value of L. Value of L is equal to 0 to n minus 1, so value of L is equal to 0 and 1. When n is equal to 3, value of n is equal to 3, it shows that there will be 3 value of L. Value of L is equal to 0 to n minus 1, so value of L is equal to 0, 1 and 2. When n is equal to 4, Value of n is equal to 4. It shows that there will be 4 value of L. Value of L is equal to 0 to n minus 1. So, value of L is equal to 0, 1, 2 and 3. When n is equal to 5, value of n is equal to 5. It shows that there will be 5 value of L. Value of L is equal to 0 to n minus 1. So, Value of L is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Magnetic quantum numbers nu shuru karan to pehla, e bohat zaruri hai ki asi Zeeman effect baare jaan laiye. The Zeeman effect is a splitting of a spectral line into several components in the presence of a static magnetic field. It is analogous to the Stark effect. The splitting of a spectral line into several components in the presence of an electric field. The Zeeman effect is very important in applications such as nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, electron spin resonance spectroscopy and magnetic resonance imaging means MRI. Magnetic quantum number has been proposed to explain the splitting of spectral lines or Zeeman effect. An application of a strong magnetic field to an atom reveals that electrons with the same values of principal quantum number n and of azimuthal quantum number l may still differ in their behavior towards magnetic field. That's why they show different values of magnetic quantum number. With the help of magnetic quantum number, we can easily differentiate those electrons which have same values of principal quantum number and of azimuthal quantum number. Magnetic quantum number is denoted by M. This is also called orientation quantum number because it gives the orientation or distribution of the electron cloud. Now, Let's come to the values of magnetic quantum number. For each value of the azimuthal quantum number L, the magnetic quantum number M may assume all the integral values between plus L to minus L through 0. Therefore, for each value of L, there will be 2L plus 1 total values of M. Asi is concept nu clear karan lai ekudharan laiye. When L is equal to 0, M is equal to 0, the magnetic quantum number M will have only one value. Total values is 2L plus 1 which is equal to 2 multiplied by 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1. This means that for each value of principal quantum number N, there is only one orientation for L is equal to 0 or there is only one s orbital. For s orbital there being only one orientation, it must be spherically symmetrical about the nucleus. Let's take one more example. For l is equal to 1, the magnetic quantum number m will have three values. 
total values is 2L plus 1 which is equal to 2 multiplied by 1 plus 1 which is equal to 3. These are plus 1, 0, minus 1 so there are 3 orientations for p orbitals. These three types of p orbitals differ only in the value of magnetic quantum number and are designated as px, py, pz depending upon the axis of orientation. The subscripts x, y and z refer to the coordinate axis, the p orbital r of dumbbell shape consisting of two lobes. Let's take one more example for L is equal to 2, the magnetic quantum number will have 5 values. Total values is 2, L plus 1 which is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 plus 1 which is equal to 5. These are plus 2, plus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2. Thus, there are 5 possible orientations for d orbitals. The 5 d orbitals are designated as dxy, dyz, dzx, dx square, y square, dz square. These orbitals have complex geometrical shapes as compared to p orbitals. Let's take one more example. For L is equal to 3, the magnetic quantum number will have 7 values. Total values is 2L plus 1 which is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 plus 1 which is equal to 7. These values as plus 3, plus 2, plus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. There are 7 possible orientations for f orbitals. These 7 orbitals possess very complicated shapes and orientation in space. Spin quantum number s. This quantum number describes the spin orientation of the electron. Is quantum number nu electron d apne excess wale gati nu maapan lai introduce kita gaya si. It is denoted by s since an electron can spin only in two ways clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. There may be two possible values of s that are equal and opposite. These are plus half and minus half. These depend upon whether the electron spins in one direction or the other. These spins are also denoted by arrows pointing upwards and downwards as upward and downward arrow respectively. Let's suppose there are two electrons. If they have same sign of the spin quantum numbers, they are said to have parallel spins while those having opposite signs of the spin quantum numbers are said to have opposite spin or anti-parallel spin. It is observed that the electron is not only revolving around the nucleus but it is also spinning on its own axis. The spinning of the electron produces a small magnetic field as a result of which the electron behaves as a tiny magnet. Since a spinning charge is associated with a magnetic field, an electron must have a magnetic movement associated with it. Students, we are looking at an animated table showing value of n. Number of value of L, value of L, orbital types, number of possible values of m which is equal to 2l plus 1, value of m which may be minus l to plus l, designation of orbital and number of electrons in the orbital. Let us suppose value of n is equal to 1, number of value of l will be 1, for n is equal to 1, value of L will be 0. Orbital type will be S type. Number of possible values of M will be 1. Value of M will be 0 for L is equal to 0. Designation of orbital will be 1S. Total number of electrons in the orbital will be 2. For N is equal to 2, number of value of L will be 2. For N is equal to 
to value of L will be 0 and 1. Orbital type will be S and P type respectively. Number of possible values of M will be 1 and 3 respectively. For L is equal to 0, value of M will be 0. For L is equal to 1, value of M will be minus 1, 0, plus 1 respectively. Designation of orbital will be 2s and 2p, which may be 2px, 2py or 2pz respectively. Total number of electrons in the orbital will be 2 and 6, which is equal to 8. Similarly, for n is equal to 3, all values of L, orbital types, all values of M, designation and number of electrons are shown here. Similarly, for n is equal to 4, all values of L, orbital types, all values of M, designation and number of electrons are also shown. Now try to solve a question. Note down orbital type when designation of orbitals are as follows. n is equal to 2, l is equal to 1, n is equal to 1, l is equal to 0, n is equal to 3, l is equal to 2, n is equal to 4 and l is equal to 3. Its solution is n is equal to 2, L is equal to 1. Relevant orbital is 2p where 2 refers to principal quantum number and n is equal to 1, L is equal to 0. Relevant orbital is 1s where 1 refers to principal quantum number. n is equal to 3, L is equal to 2. Relevant orbital is 3d where 3 refers to principal quantum number n is equal to 4, l is equal to 3. Relevant orbital is 4f, where 4 refers to principal quantum number. Thus, the four quantum numbers describe position of an electron in an atom by specifying its main energy level, n. Sublevel l, the orientation of the orbital m and the direction of its spin, s. In other words, these quantum numbers serve as an address for an electron. The various permitted values of the quantum numbers are summarized below. Let's compare four quantum numbers with the help of this table. Principal quantum number is denoted by n. It represents the size of the electron cloud. Values of n may be 1, 2, 3 to the infinity. Azimuthal quantum number is denoted by L. It defines shape of the orbital occupied by the electron and the angular momentum of the electron. Values may be 0, 2, n, minus 1. Magnetic quantum number is denoted by M. It gives the orientation or distribution of the electron cloud. Values may be plus L, 2, minus L. Spin quantum number is denoted by S. It shows the movement of electrons clockwise or anticlockwise. Values may be plus 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2. Let's start with a problem based on quantum number. List all possible values of L and M for N is equal to 2. Now, Come to the solution. Here, the principal quantum number n is equal to 2. The azimuthal quantum number can have only two values. These are 0 and 1. When L is equal to 0, M is equal to 0. When L is equal to 1, M is equal to plus 1, 0 and minus 1. Alright, now let's move to another problem. Which of the following sets of quantum numbers are not allowable and why? The first set is A which says n is equal to 2, l is equal to 2, m is equal to 0 and s is equal to plus half. Now 
look at the solution a not allowable as l cannot have value equal to 2 when n is equal to 2 all right now let's move to another problem second set b which says n is equal to 2 l is equal to 1 m is equal to 0 and s is equal to minus half now look at the solution b allowable all right now let's move to another problem third set c which says n is equal to 1 l is equal to 1 m is equal to plus 1 and s is equal to plus half now look at the solution c not allowable as l cannot have value equal to 1 when n is equal to 1 all right now let's move to another problem the fourth set is d which says n is equal to 2 l is equal to 0 m is equal to minus 1 and s is equal to 0 now look at the solution d not allowable as s cannot have value equal to 0 and the last set e which says n is equal to 3 L is equal to 2, M is equal to plus 2, and S is equal to minus half. Now, look at the solution and E allowable. I hope you enjoyed the lesson as much as I did and are looking forward to the next class. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.